in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 10th of august wednesday of the 19th week in ordinary time on 10th of august we celebrate the feast of saint lawrence who is he a deacon and a martyr he was born on 31st december 225 nothing is known of lawrence's early life as a young man his honesty prompted pope saint sixtus the second to place him in charge of distributing church funds to the poor during the persecution ordered by the emperor valerian in 257 pope sixtus and several other christians were put to death knowing that he himself would soon suffer the same fate lawrence gathered together all the church's money and gave it away to the poor hearing of this the prefect of rome imagined the christians possessed a vast treasure and he demanded lawrence turn it over to him the deacon agreed he then assembled a large number of the poor the sick and the widows and orphans when the prefect arrived lawrence stated here is the church's treasure the angry official then ordered lawrence's immediate execution saint lawrence pray for us let's now focus our attention on the gospel reading of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to john chapter 12 verses 24 to 26 at that time jesus said to his disciples truly truly i say to you unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains alone but if it dies it bears much fruit whoever loves his life loses it and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life if anyone serves me he must follow me and where i am there will my servant be also if anyone serves me the father will honor him the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ there is no harvest without death is what the lord tells us the seed has to be planted it has to germinate it has to die to produce in abundance this is a fundamental truth of christian life and we see this truly manifested in the life of jesus jesus bore much fruit by laying down his life on the cross for us in the forests of northern europe and asia it is a home to a little creature by the name of ermine very small little creature that's known for its white fur and this animal is very very 
cautious to see that this fur does not get soiled. It protects and safeguards its fur. It prefers to remain very clean. And this fur is very often used for clothing. They say they used to use it for the robes of the judges once upon a time. I do not know where they do it now. They would, the borders of the robes of the judges would be lined with this fur of the ermine. And as I said, this animal would do anything to protect its fur, the purity of its fur. And the hunters would hunt for the fur, would know the weakness of this creature, and they would use it for its advantage. They would never keep a trap for this ermine, like you do for other animals. Once they track this animal, before they let the dogs chase it, they would go and soil the entrance of the home, whether it's the cleft in the rock or in the hollow in the woods where this animal would live. They would soil it, make it dirty. And then they would let the dogs after this creature, animal. And frightened with the dogs chasing it, the airmen obviously would run to its home, to the cleft in the rock or to the hole in the, in the tree. But the moment it reaches there and sees that it is all soiled, obviously it will be taken over by the fact that it wants its fur to be pure, not to get it soiled, and would not enter inside because it was soiled. And that's how the hunters were able to, would be able to catch this ermine. Dear friends, this creature would prefer to die than to soil its its own fur. It preferred to give up its life to keep up its purity. And Father Joe's MSFS, reflecting on this passage of gospel today, gives this incident and says, do we, like this creature and, and many other insights in life, do we treasure purity more than life when it comes to Christian life? He invites us to reflect, do we choose to be holy? over spoiling and, you know, dirtying our own spiritual lives is what he asks us. Every Christian is expected to do the same, preserve its purity. The Liturgy of the Word today invites us to look at the example of one such man, St. Lawrence the Deacon, a martyr of the first centuries. The Roman Emperor Valerian was persecuting the church. He was going on killing Christians. And Lawrence the deacon who was in charge of serving the poor, the needy, realized that he would confiscate the treasures of the church. And we are told that before he could be called by the emperor, he takes all the treasures of the church and distributes it among the poor, the needy, the deprived, who are struggling to survive. And as he anticipated, the emperor calls him up and asks him to come with all the treasures of the church to be handed over. And we are told from history that Lawrence, now that he has distributed all the treasures, he gets the poor, the needy, with, to whom he had distributed all the treasures of the church and says, this is the treasure of the church. This is the treasure of the church. Consequence of it is that he is, he is martyred. And we know the story of how he's, he's martyred. He's, he's burnt half the side and then later on the other half. He's prepared to die for his commitment to the poor, the annavim, people who depend totally on others for their survival, others' goodwill. He's prepared to die for his commitment to the Lord than to compromise his Christian commitment and values. Dear friends, as we thank God for the example of St. Lawrence, we need to ask ourselves, as a church, cardinals, bishops, all of us together, how much do we value the poor, who are totally dependent on God and people of goodwill for their existence, for their quality of light, for their survival? Then if not, where is the, our value? Let's remind ourselves. 
my pathway to glory is through dying to myself, to my desires, inordinate desires, to my ambitions, which are contrary to my Christian vocation. May God, who has called us, give us the grace to live up to his expectation. Brothers and sisters, the psalm proclaims blessings for those who give to the needy. The persons who are willing to share their riches, not just financial, but also emotional, intellectual and spiritual, are those who understand God's graciousness and God's will. Not being selfish, but sharing what we have is a reflection of our understanding of the benevolence of our God. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response, it goes well with the man who deals generously and lends. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Blessed the man who fear the Lord, who takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generations of the upright will be blessed. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. It goes well with the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He will never be moved. Forever shall the just be remembered. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, wish you all a happy feast of St. Lawrence. Once again, I would like to place before you our appeal for sponsoring the pages of 2023 Bible Diary. We are getting ready with the diary for the year 2023. It will have all the readings, the reflections on the readings, the psalm, the life of the saint, all the morning and evening prayers, including the novenas. And we wish that you sponsor the pages of this Bible diary on the occasion of your birthday or wedding anniversary or in remembrance of the one who is dead in the family. We announce those names and intentions during the audio reflections. Also, we print those names and intentions in the diary. Those who use will definitely remember you and pray for you. For each name, we charge rupees 1000. It is towards the education of the children of the blind parents. As I have already told you, last year, in the sense this year, we could distribute scholarship worth 
rupees 10 lakh and it was possible because of your generosity because of your kindness so i request you once again to show your same generosity this year also and i request you to give your names by the end of august 20th let's fix it as the last day so kindly hurry up and send your details to my number i am father steven pereira and my whatsapp number is 9481263229 9481263229 brothers and sisters we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially brother lurent bernard brother peter father stanny rodriguez father suresh saldana sister carolyn and sister sandhya all are carmelites donald lewis from mangaluru devona noel lewis from mumbai shaila noronna from bengaluru ivan paul de souza from bondel mangalore Justin Pereira from Udyavar presently in London Crystal Pius Dis Rodriguez from Sirsi Karwar wish you all a happy birthday god bless you that's all for today my dear friends once again i remind you about the sp sponsoring of the pages of the bible diary kindly send your details to my number 9481263229 See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.